Good morning, good morning, good morning. To God be the glory. I want to thank God for life, health, joy, peace, hope, strength, love, endurance, and just being just. God is so worthy to be praised. I have to praise him. Oh my God, I love him. I love him. I love him. I thank God. I need y'all to know something. God is good. As you go throughout your life's journey, you got to seek him through everything. You got to praise him through everything. You got to trust in him through everything. I want to encourage you guys today to love yourself, your family, everything about life itself. Because life is what you make it. Life is glorious. But I thank God for this newfound peace, this newfound joy, this newfound hope. This phone, it does what it wants to do. It has a mind of, of its own. Hold on, guys. I just... <laughs> hold on one second. There we go. The connection is back. Guys, I want you guys to know that you are perfect the way that you are. Like today, I need you to know that you are perfect the way that you are. So many times we try to live beyond our standards or everybody else's standards. We want to do what everybody else wants us to do. We want to think the way they want us to think. We want to believe they, the way they want us to believe. But what do you believe about you today? Like, do you know you are perfect? Even with your flaws, like even with your mess. Good morning, Mr. Teasley slash uncle slash brother slash friend. Good morning, everybody that's tuning in. I just want y'all to know that you are perfect the way that you are. And when you know that you are perfect the way that you are, you will be able to help somebody else. Encourage somebody else to feel the way that you feel because of the simple fact you have learned to accept this man or this woman that you are are it's not even so much that you are becoming you have to listen once you love and embrace this man and woman that you are then you can love somebody else you can help build somebody else you don't necessarily have to change them but you have to speak life to them you have to speak yes Cousin Fred, I got to. I got to be that word of encouragement. I got to share the good news. I got to share the grace. I mean, not so much the grace, but just the good news of God. Because I understand that there is life after death. Even in the midst of it all, oh, God is still good. But I need y'all to love who you are. Love this person that you have become. Ah, God is faithful and he is so just. I don't have too much to say this morning, but I just wanted to leave y'all with that nugget. You are beautiful and perfect and handsome the way that you are. Don't try to change for anybody but yourself. But you know that change is necessary. Change to be the next president. Change to be the next choir director change to be the next minister change to be whatever it is that you were called to be you are perfect yes with those flaws with those scars you may have wounds on your body that is ev like you can see it it's evidence to show that you had gave a c had a c-section or you had a uh, um surgery on your body you are perfect that way i need you to love who you are embrace who you are because we need you to just be who you are that authentic person whether you are a man whether you are a woman whatever you want to call yourself be that but just love who you are i love the world i love you but most importantly i learned to love myself first because can't nobody do me like jesus i know that so I got to take care of this temple. So you do too. So be encouraged as you go on your day to day. Love without limits. Love without cause. Love without anything. Like just love with who you are. Love with everything. Love people. Love just being the change, love and embrace it. Call it forth. Say, you know what? I'm not who I used to be. I'm not where I need to be. <clears throat> excuse me guys but i'm headed to where i gotta go 
Because we always say the future. It No, your future is now. What are you doing now? Will you embrace who you are? Will you spread that love? That love is so important. It is so necessary. My Listen, I'm going through something. My sisters is going through something. My brothers is going through something. Well, why can't we all come together and go through it together? Why can't we take charge together? Why can't we lift up each other together? Why can't we be the change together? We can and we will and we must. Good morning. Good morning. I love y'all. Listen, when you lose something, my daddy taught me something in these last couple months. When I tell you, people was like, Therese, where you go? Where you been? Why we ain't seen you? Because I had to, I was getting prepared for this. That's where strength come from. Listen, if I didn't spend time with my father, I wouldn't have, listen, I probably would be broken. I would be down and out. But see, God is faithful. That's why it's important for you to pay attention to everything. Everything around you. It's so necessary. But I thank God because I love my father. He loved me. He told me that before he passed. And when I tell you, I prayed for him to be able to say something to me. So that's why I know prayer works. When I prayed and I said, I want to hear my father's voice one more time. And when I heard it, that's what I needed. And I have to tell you, because you think sometimes you don't know how powerful your prayers is. It can be a simple prayer. I didn't have to pray this long prayer, but I said what I needed to say to get what I needed so I needed to hear my father's voice that last time and guess what I said Lord I just want to hear him one more time and that was what it took that's what it took so I need y'all to get that in your spirit sometimes it's just that Lord help me Lord I need you whatever it is that you need and you seeking God for and you believing God for and you trusting him for Guess what? It can happen. So love who you are. Speak and know that there's life and death in the power of your tongue. So whatever you speak and whatever God's will is, it shall come to pass. So I thank God for this moment. I thank God for this strength. I thank God for giving me a new song to sing. Yes, I will miss my father, but I understand to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That is scripture and I believe it because the thing is about me, I've seen a couple people transition that I love, but before they passed on, it was like they gave us different little signs and they said it. And I'm like, okay, I know it's something else out here that we can't see, but that's what faith comes in. When you have that faith of things you can't see, but you know it's to come. Oh God, I thank you for that strength. I thank you for this right now. Because like I said, we don't know everything. But faith is not being able to see, but to believe. So I believe that I'm going to see my father again. I believe I'm going to see my grandparents again. I believe I'm going to see all of those that have passed before me. I believe that I believe that God is real. I believe that it is important for us to love each other. It is important for us to uplift each other i believe that i have to love myself i have to love you and i believe that you have to love yourself as well because how can you say you love somebody else when you don't love yourself i encourage you to love yourself number one i encourage you to love others i encourage you to speak life i encourage you to be the best that you can be every day even if it even if it don't feel good even if you done been through so much and it feel like your life is ending like your life if it's over like you don't have no meaning in your life guess what you have meaning your life means something to somebody because you never know who you're going to impact you never know what change you're going to bring forth in your community whether it's just the people around you are nationwide because I'm telling you, we all got something to do. We all got somewhere to go. We all got to be a blessing to somebody. Somebody is going to continue to bless us. So I thank God 
for this new hope. I thank God for this new peace. I thank God for this new love. I thank God for everything. So as you go forth, as you walk in your calling, walk in whatever it is God has showed you, because like I said the other day, I don't care about religion. I care about you, the person, the individual, because I understand we all are connected spiritually. Woo! Woo! I got to, sis. Anna, I got to because God has given me something that I got to share with the world. And I'm not afraid. I know I'm doing these live feeds, but I believe that they are reaching somebody because somebody needs to see what it's like to have a new strength. Somebody needs to see what it's like to have a new boldness. Even when you lost somebody so close as a father or as a mother or as a grandmother or as that figure. I thank God for just being who he is. And I feel like I'm healing through this process. I feel like there is strength in this. And I feel like even when I'm going through, I got to help somebody else. I've always been that way. That's one thing my father did share with me was that community activism, helping others even when you're going through, believing that God is real, believing that God has plans for you. So I thank God for you all. So y'all be encouraged and remember what I said in the beginning, love yourself First, I'm not saying it in a cocky, conceited way, but love and embrace everything about you. Hello, Miss Tony. I love you. Miss Tony used to get on me when I was younger because I used to frown. I used to be upset all the time because I was hurting. I was going through something, but nobody knew. She didn't know why I didn't smile. She didn't know why I, or why I just was going through everything. She didn't know, but God had to break me. He had to change me. He had to clean into my heart he had to renew a new spirit within me but see i was young and i didn't understand why i was going through what i was going through but like i said i told the young lady saturday i was living in hell like i was living in my sins like i had these walls up that i had created because of the secrets because of everything that i had been through but nobody knew my parents didn't even know because i was living in secrets because i thought that was what was safe see many people live in secrets now and they thought they were safe but secrets harm you secrets destroy families but i'm here today to tell you you don't have to live in a secret anymore you gotta come out of that mess that's how we are set free by telling the testimonies by overcoming the testimonies by just showing people who god is so i thank god this is only the beginning this is only a test but I thank God for the strength. I thank God for my family. I thank God for you. So y'all be encouraged. Ooh, and yes, Anna, I used to get on you because I knew it's something inside of you. I know it's something inside of all of us. I know that. So I'm always harder, but not trying to do it intentionally. But I know, because listen, greater is he that is in all of us. Not just me, not just you, all of us. So that baby, that senior citizen, that young adult, God is in all of us. Some of us tap into our greatness. Some of us have not tapped into it yet, but it's to come. So I thank God for what he's doing. He's raising us up. But get ready and stay ready and be ready and do whatever he called you to do. See, Anna says she didn't understand me either. So I thank God for you. So y'all be encouraged as you go on your day to day. I love you all, Coleman. Everybody that tuned in, Tamika, God bless you. I hope God just continue to just shed some new light on you and show you who you are because you are his sons and you are his daughters. You are perfect the way that you are. I had to go through some stuff. He still loved me in my mess. He still loves you in your mess. He wants nothing but the best for you. But you have to seek him in everything. Okay, guys? Be encouraged this Saturday. I won't go live. Possibly I might get on here. Who knows? I don't know. But Saturday is my father's funeral. So I'm going to dedicate that time to family. But know that everything is going to be all right. 
It is for us all. But we got to believe. We got to be strong. We got to go forth. And we got to trust the process. So I am Pontiac Community Alliance. I am driven by purpose. I am Coach Therese Teasley. And I'm stepping out on faith because I can't see it. But I believe it. I love you. God bless you all.